Hey loves, welcome back. So today's video is going to be me showing you my wash day routine for my hair. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests to do like a wash day routine or how or show you guys like what products I use and everything. So I decided to go ahead and do this video for you. Now, if you guys do not remember, <laughs> I was 100% natural back in April. I did the big chop and everything, but as you see from the title, um I have relaxed hair. I went ahead and relaxed my hair back in I believe July and I've been relaxed ever since. Um it was just a personal um preference of mine to go relaxed. Um I just wasn't into being natural anymore at the time. So yeah, um right now I'm about 5 months post. Um I have not relaxed my hair since July and the products that I do use or the products that I use to relax my hair is um just for me. So yeah, um so right now I'm just basically taking down my two braids. Usually I leave my hair either braided or I leave it wrapped. But since I have not been relaxed since uh, four or five months, uh, it's kind of difficult for my hair to stay wrapped uh, because I do have like a lot of new growth. So that's why I usually leave my hair in like two braided braids, you know, on each side. But right about now, um, I'm about three weeks in of not having washed my hair. I know it's bad, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Do not judge me. I've been really, really busy. So, yeah. So, I wanted to come to you and show you exactly what I do to wash my hair. Now, the products that I will be using to shampoo and condition my hair is by Tresemme. And I'll get into all that um, a little bit later in the video. So basically what I do is I take down however I have my hair at the moment and I um, spray my hair with water. I kind of spray my hair with water just to kind of loosen the tangles or the uh, sh my hair that has been shedded and I have not combed it out in about a couple of weeks. So I use some water and then I use uh, Rin Pure uh coconut hydrating conditioner now i kind of like mix between the hydrating conditioner and the moisturizing conditioner uh i just either either or whichever one i pick up so yeah right now i have like some water the coconut hydrating conditioner by rain pure and i have some actual um raw coconut oil and i do this to loosen the tangles uh in my hair before I go in and shampoo so after I loosen the tangles what I do is I rinse out the conditioner as well as the coconut oil out of my hair and then I kind of like go in and start shampooing my hair now like I said I am using the Tresemme keratin smooth infusing shampoo and this is really good if you want to prolong your relaxed hair because it's supposed to help with um, making your hair uh, super sleek. Um, it does combat frizz and it helps uh, to, you know, it helps you with styling your hair uh, more easily. So I just apply a good amount. Yes, you guys, I do do product overload um i don't care i use a lot of shampoo and i use a lot of conditioner when it comes to washing my hair i want to make sure like my hair is super saturated so i just kind of part my hair off into two to four sections and i just go in and start applying the shampoo making sure i'm concentrating on the root to get all that dirt build up and then i work my way down to the ends of my hair and make sure i focus on the ends of my hair because that is like the most um brittle or weakest part of your hair which is the ends now after i shampoo my hair of course i rinse it out with warm water and then i go in and condition my hair and i'm using the tresemme Karen to smooth five in one conditioner with marula oil uh, basically with this conditioner it is supposed to help with um it's anti-frizz it's uh helps with detangling your hair it helps with um a sleeking shine finish it gives you a soft feel and it tames flyaways so i apply of course a generous amount to my entire hair and then i either use like a plastic bag or i use a shower cap 
So this time I decided to go ahead and use a shower cap and I applied the shower cap to my head and I let the conditioner sit on my hair for about 30 minutes to an hour. And after that, I go ahead and rinse it out. So after I wash out the conditioner, what I do is I use a leave-in conditioner and the leave-in conditioner that I'm using is by Cream of Nature. I think it's like their Moroccan or Argon uh, leave-in conditioner and I spray that throughout my entire hair and then I let my hair air dry. I used to go straight in and blow dry my hair after I condition it, but I really don't do that anymore. I'll just wait until my hair is about 80 to 90% dry and then I'll go in with my blow dryer and dry the rest of my hair. Now, I do not use a towel to dry my hair. I actually use like a t-shirt and I just wrap the t-shirt around like it was a towel around my head and, you know, go about my day and do what I need to do and wait until my hair is about, it's almost dry. So now it is time to me to blow dry my hair and what I do is I, I section my hair off into two to four sections to blow dry my hair and the products that I do use is I use the Con Air Straightening Blow Dryer and I got this off of Amazon like a few years ago. Uh, this is by far like one of the best blow dryers I've used because it straightens my hair to the point where I do not have to flat iron my hair really. So what before I blow dry my hair, what I do is I apply the Luster's uh, Pink Moisturizing Lotion before I blow dry my hair. So I apply a good amount to the section that I'm going to blow dry and then I go in with my Con Air blow dryer and blow dry my hair as well as straightening. Now I do add a little bit of tension when it comes to blow drying my hair and I also like change the settings throughout me uh, drying my hair I start on high and then I work my way down to low and then I work my way down to the cool setting and after I see that my hair is straightened and dried I do go in with a paddle brush and um, use the paddle brush as well as the blow dry at the same time and straighten my hair even more The now with me doing this it straightens my hair so well and then it gives me some like my it makes my hair really flowy and bouncy so I do this process throughout my entire hair head and um, after that what I do is I do add some oil to my hair and the oil that I use I either change it up either I use the wild growth oil or I'll use some Jamaican black castor oil but this time I wanted to use the wild growth oil and I just uh, work this throughout my entire head and then I make sure that I put a little bit on my edges as well as the ends of my hair Now, once I apply the oil, I make sure that I massage my scalp a little bit just to um, make sure that the oil is mixed as good as it can be on my scalp. And then what I wanted to actually see is whether or not my hair was still wrapped. So I decided to go ahead and wrap up my hair and I use my paddle brush as well as a regular brush to wrap my hair up. And um, I apply my, I'm using like a men's spandex cap. So I'm using a men's spandex cap and then I'm using a hair bonnet to cover up my hair. And then I usually leave this on until like the next day and then I um, unwrap my hair. So it is the next day and I'm going to see exactly how my hair turns out because I mean, like I said, I haven't um, relaxed my hair in about five five months, so we're going to see how this turns out. So um, what I'm using is my paddle brush to unwrap 
my hair and I will be using my flat iron just to kind of like bump the ends of my hair and create my side bang so yeah you guys um this is basically my whole entire wash day routine from start to finish if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below um i just want to say thank you for taking time out to watch my video uh if you have not subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe uh so you can stay up to date on all my videos as well as check out my previous videos um and also make sure you guys follow me on instagram I just want to say once again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see more tutorials about my relaxed uh, hair, definitely let me know down in the comment section. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.